wow, what a week this has been. As many of you guys know, on Tuesday, June 16th, 2015, this very YouTube channel was deleted, or rather terminated. Many of you guys wondered and speculated why this happened, and you guys know I did give some insight on my official Facebook page, my Twitter account, and even my Instagram, which if you guys haven't been on there already, you should probably follow those accounts because this, those are really the best way for me to give updates in a situation like this. But for those who don't understand why I got terminated or why my this account got terminated, it was because of my own mistakes and negligence in regards to YouTube and the LEGO Group's copyright policies. And basically, because I made three copyright mistakes, my channel was removed by YouTube. I deeply apologize for this situation, but let's look at the bright side. This channel is back and it's up and running. And really, it's thanks to you guys. You guys and some great people who also uh, fought for my channel to be back internally. Now, you, the viewer, who went out of your way just to show appreciation towards my channel, just means so much to me. I can't express it. I mean, I always thought of myself as some youngian who loves Lego and makes videos on YouTube, just like millions of people out there. How am I unique? But majority of you guys see me as an entertainer who produces videos that you enjoy. I really appreciate that. It makes me feel special, and it keeps me going all happy and joyous in real life. And it really just, oh my gosh, I can't express how cool it is. And as you guys have seen on the screen, a lot of you guys showed support. I think this is like the most attention I've received in a week in my life. I mean, so many of you guys care about my channel's well-being, and thanks for that. I can't stress it enough. I mean, you showed your support through comments, on social media, uh, concerned private messages, and even some videos. It's crazy, but I love every single one of you guys. I mean, even though the people... Some people didn't even speak up. I love you guys too, all right? Because it's just like... I don't know. I'm incredibly gracious of my status online. I made more friends and met so many interesting people through this little channel that I started around in 2012. I started making videos here, and I didn't think it would ever take off this big. I also give a special thanks to Andres, who's a friend from a very good German Lego news site. And he really looked past my ignorance and copyright and has not only helped me gain this channel back. He was a big factor in that, but he really helped me learn a ton about copyright here on the Internet. So you can check out his website, which I absolutely cannot pronounce the name, as well as his YouTube channel, which you guys can see just the name of that on the screen right now, um, where he produces some very concise, informative, and well-shot LEGO reviews in German. That's on his, uh, his, his YouTube account, and then on his website, he actually produces some LEGO news, and uh, you can actually have some English subtitles on his YouTube videos, which is pretty cool. And you can see a link to those in the description. And another big thanks goes to Mr. Bob Nelson of The Lego Company, and he has helped me better understand the legal world of The Lego Company. And with this, I have to announce some changes to this channel, specifically with the Lego News videos. Ever since I began doing Lego News in May 2012, they proved to be some of my most beloved and popular videos, I guess popular in a short-term aspect, actually. But uh, many of you guys are subscribed to me just for that part of this channel, just for the news videos. And that won't change for many of you because LEGO news videos are not going anywhere. I'm not canceling them or anything. I love doing LEGO news videos. My whole life I've actually been interested in the world of journalism. I guess not really in the terms of like a long-term career aspect, but uh, I really want to explore the world of journalism. And really with these news videos in the past four years or so, I've had a great time exploring it with LEGO news. However, there will be a change to new segments. I'm not doing any more tech slideshows. No, no, no. We're doing video segments now. <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We're still going to do tech slideshows. We're not doing video segments, all right? I do not like video segments because a lot of time with video segments of these uh, little news videos, you know, it'll, uh, I'd have to show my face and stuff. And what that has absolutely nothing to do with the Lego news. You guys just want to see the Lego news, right? So let me get straight to the Lego news. And plus, it helps me put this the fast, or it, it's really the fastest way to put it out with these little simple text segments. However, the big change to the news videos will be what I'll cover. In respect to the copyright issues and everything, I've learned a lot about the Lego Group's copyright policies due to this whole termination situation. Because of this, I have set a few guidelines for forthcoming news videos from me. The news I will report will only be official reveals by LEGO themselves, except for set lists and rumors, or anything presented by an official retailer. So I mean, this is the new guideline, and it's really not different from basically my plan before this whole situation. 
except the key thing here is that I will no longer do videos where a let's say a, a new figure shows up on Taoboa or however you pronounce it or eBay and it gets on there early I mean I assume anything like this is really not meant to be seen and if you want to see this stuff now if you want a new source that doesn't follow these new presidents and you're like oh just too good you know what I'm done with you I don't want to see your news videos anymore because you're limiting your news now well I recommend you going to Hothbricks I mean they're actually kind of my friends I used to talk to the main guy years ago I guess we we're kind of kind of you know friends online but uh, they're a good they're a good site I like them I like Hothbricks I like Hothbricks a lot actually so if you don't want to go on my channel, you know what? There's the way out. You you could go on Hothbricks. They they report a lot of stuff that I won't be covering because of this. They'll report the figures that show up earlier or whatever. So you could go there. Now I'm not saying they were a bad news source at all, but like I said, we're at this point. I guess we're following two different rulings in the presentation of our news. Nothing bad. An iffy situation is I guess that I can't really address in this one video. Is let's say like a set shows up early in the store. That, I don't know if I'd report on it or not, because it really depends on the context. So, I would have to decide when the situation comes up if I'd report on it or not, and that's what I'll probably do. But, I mean, like, if a set that hasn't been shown before shows up early, I don't know if I'd re I wouldn't report on it, because I think it's actually, you know, it should be fair use or whatever. Uh, but, uh, what the whole thing is, is actually that... Uh, I will make a priority to contact people whose photos I use for news videos when it comes to independently shot photos. So if it was that situation where, like, let's say a, a set showed up early in the store, I would really try to contact that person to ask if I can use the, the pictures in my video because I didn't take those pictures and I don't own those videos. While being the best LEGO news source I can uh, be to the loyal viewer is really always my mindset when making these news videos, it's also very important to respect LEGO as a company, you know. I know I've gained a lot of reputation as having some of the fastest LEGO news reports on the internet. That's really something I strive for, and I appreciate people who consider me to really have that. I've actually seen some people complain about me making news videos so fast and putting it over my own personal priorities, but really? I mean, news reports are supposed to be fast, right? Imagine if a news site like, I guess, uh, the Wall Street Journal reported news that was two days late just so that they could, you know, I guess they can make it looked like they took time on the story while the story itself was simple and straightforward. Of course, I mean, I'm not disregarding quality when I say this because quality is always in mind. But please, just don't worry about my personal life, all right? Because that's my own thing that's completely unrelated to this channel. I mean, I'm glad that you guys care about me as a person. It does show how courteous you guys are, but it's all right, okay? Um, it's just, I, I mean, I'd rather just you guys don't worry about my personal struggles or whatever, and I prefer to keep them separate from this channel unless I otherwise state it. However, if I if there is a clear drop in quality in a news video, I'm not saying it, because it's super quick, you can't criticize my news videos because you can still criticize my news videos because it's really good to take criticism constructively and learn from your mistakes. So anyways, that's it. Thanks a billion for the support from the past week. You'll see regular content here soon. One thing I have to say is I know I had to skip news from this week due to the downtime, which included a new teaser for the smallest Star Wars The Force Awakens set, the LEGO Minifigure Series 14 teaser, some new Comic-Con promos like a version of Falcon as Captain America and from Secret Wars and even a Star Wars mini set. And on all honesty, I don't think I'll report on any of those. Not that they violate my new news code or anything like that, so don't think that, but I wasn't around when they came out, so I'll just skip them for now. Uh, maybe my feelings here will change, and maybe after this I'll, I'll quickly put a news video on them up. But I don't think I will. I, I really do not think I will. Uh, but I'm always changing my mind here and there. I'm kind of glad I had this week off from my channel because I got to do a lot of cool stuff with my friends, and it really just had me take a chill pill from the LEGO world for the most part. Not that these videos hinder my ability to have free time, but it was just a change of pace for a week. I'll see you guys later with more reviews, news, and random videos here and there. Also, I potentially could have something really exciting coming here on this channel up, and we'll celebrate if that happens. But I mean, it's a big maybe. It's a, it's a, it's a really uh, kind of a, a small possibility that this big thing can happen. And I, I, if it does, you guys will know when it happens. So you guys can leave your comments down below on what you think of this whole situation or whatever. And thanks for the continuing support. It means so much. I mean, I, 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 I can't even express it. And I'll still reply to comments like I always do. I try to reply to every comment I can. 
And I know I've missed a few comments in the past week or two. I've been really behind since summer started. And I'll get to those eventually. So I'm sorry about that, but I'll get to those eventually. So that's it for now, and I'll see you guys later.